Welcome to Your Moment with Miguel Ramirez. Hello, this is Miguel Ramirez, and uh, this is Your Moment, the podcast with me, Miguel Ramirez. And uh, yeah, it's been some time since last producing my uh, podcast episode. I left off on episode 24, and uh, I had an interview with Michael Penifel. I think that uh, since then, there's been a lot of uh, productive changes. Um, when I was looking back at past episodes, I wasn't quite satisfied with the video, well, the video component of the podcast. I felt like there were some things I needed to improve on, uh, things to touch up and learn about, uh, video-wise, editing-wise, and I found that as I became more involved in that component that it kind of took away time from the podcast portion of the things that I do to produce episodes. Um, I feel like, you know, during these uh, unique circumstances and these unique times that uh, there isn't quite a re well, there isn't as plentiful resources for mental health. I think that there's avenues where you could research, there's websites, but in comparison to current state of affairs, that it's really easy to not acknowledge your mental health. It's really easy to kind of be mentally fatigued, to not properly take care of yourself, and to put yourself on the back burner. And so I wanted to use this podcast as a platform to just kind of have like a mental self check-in, you know, things that I observe, things that I find might be useful or beneficial to somebody else. Uh, so uh, going forward, I'll probably highlight some useful things that I notice. It could be different posts from people on Instagram, different uh, comments or information that might be beneficial to someone who might be going through stressful circumstances. I tend to find that a lot of my friends in my personal life uh, have encountered or dealt with mental illness and struggled with mental health. I know that for myself. That was something that even in the beginning of the year, uh, getting terribly sick uh, to like an extreme nature and then following the months of being sick leading right into you know, the current state with the pandemic and then the Black Lives Matter movement and various other things just accumulating in the world today. And I kind of feel like it's important to kind of have that self check in and to just sort of be mentally aware of yourself and your surroundings and also giving yourself a moment of reprieve. And so I'm looking to continue on with the podcast, highlighting the guests that I've interviewed in the past. Um, some guests at the time of recording, there wasn't a video element. So uh, on those particular ones, I'll probably highlight a post mentioning that, but not have the video element, obviously. And then also I'm looking to begin a podcast that kind of highlights things that are off the topic of mental health a bit, sort of things that are mental escapes, things that you could either listen to, uh, talking to various artists, uh, music. Um, there was some events, I believe, at the beginning of the year, towards the last year, that, you know, getting to see different musical performances, highlighting different people who either portray or illustrate different type of arts, whether if it's artistic mediums, acrylic paints, whatnot, and then just having that resource to where you know, somebody could focus on something other than what they may be focusing on. So that is something that I definitely look to help do and help create. And so I believe my next episode would probably be either the following Saturday of uh, next week or possibly Friday. I think that I haven't really settled on a particular schedule. So that's something that, yeah, I'd probably work on and try to be more consistent with. And then also just sort of not be as, um, not be as, I guess, critical. I think sometimes when I look at 
past videos, especially the ones posted on YouTube, I look back and kind of like look at it with a bit of a cringe, like, oh, I actually shot that, I actually produced that, Ooh. So sort of just not, uh, not being as critical, taking it with a grain of salt, and then looking at what helpful things I can provide, what things I could give to somebody else and what they could, you know, learn from, benefit from, and feel like they have, you know, an avenue to go to when there isn't any avenue. I tend to find that with some people, there isn't that emotional outlet. They can't really leave to some place if they're having to stay in the place that they're in. So, you know, sometimes, whether if it's podcasts, listening to music, watching movies, definitely helpful, good escapes. Uh, definitely on my podcast, I'll talk about that, mention that, and then probably pick up where I left off, uh, you know, highlighting the guests like Michael Pinafel, Emily Woolery, um, Raul Chavez, I believe, and uh, past guests as well. Uh, looking at uh, additional episodes, I might do a webcam format. I think the only thing that makes me a bit hesitant is, you know, latency, uh, webcam quality video. I'd look at it like, mm, kind of, I'll try to see how I could produce that in a secure, safe environment and, you know, have it be something that's not too taxing on time. I tend to find that with people's everyday life, especially now, you know, being able to have time for yourself is really important. So I try to condense episodes as, you know, bite-sized as possible so that you're not spending an hour or two hours listening to something that you're able to go about your day and take away something possibly helpful. So uh, next episode, I'll probably begin back talking with Emily Woolery and then also talk more about the uh, additional podcast as well. So I've been Miguel Ramirez. I hope you stay safe, stay sane, and take care of yourself. Thank you and have a good day. Stay up to date with news, interviews, and upcoming show episodes by following your moment with Miguel Ramirez on Spreaker.com.